People are not bad. Just when you don't mean it. So they look bad. Hello dear friends. Today I'm going to tell you the prediction of the June for Taurus Ascendance. This chart is of the planets revolving in transit. Padosh is on the 7th of June and the 22nd of June. Vinayak Chachutai is on the 14th of June. Sankashti Chachutai is on the 27th of June. New Moon is on the 10th of June. Full Moon is on the 24th of June. There is a solar eclipse on the 10th of June, which is not visible in India. Now let's move to prediction. Here two number is written, so you are Taurus Ascendant. If your birth horoscope also has two number written here, then this prediction is for you. Please do not make any mistake in watching the video, otherwise the prediction will not match. This prediction on the basis of Indian times and dates, so you should set prediction from the date and time of your country. The Lord of Taurus Ascendant is Venus, and Venus is sitting in your second house. Because of which, a lot of money can come to you in this month. If the planet is in good position in your birth horoscope, then 100% in this month you can get a lot of money. For those who do not have a job, and are looking for a job, June the 9th and 10th will be the best day for you. With Ketchu in your 7th house, your business partner can cheat with you. If you are starting a new business, do not participate in it. Stay away from wrong things. You should not do any wrong thing, otherwise you will get caught. For those who want to get married, this time is not good. For marriage, you should wait till the 13th of September. Venus is your ascendant, and Venus is sitting in Gemini Zodiac. During this time there may be a huge expense in your family. You can spend on your leisure. This will be a good time for people associated with creative fields. Your speech will be good. People will be affected by your speech. Venus will aspect your eighth house, then you may also get sudden benefit. Venus is also the lord of your sixth house. You should not lend money to anyone during this time, otherwise your money will be lost. When Venus comes in the third house, so for those who love someone, this time will be good for them. You may have a love affair in your neighborhood. Relations with your siblings will be good. Your destiny will support you. Mercury is sitting in your ascendant. Due to this, you will be able to take the right decision. Your intelligence will increase. Your honor and respect will increase. Rahu with Mercury together, you can get success in job interviews. You will also win in the debate. In this time you will learn something new. The sun is sitting in your ascendant. Sun is going to stay here till the 15th of June. This will be a good time for people involved in politics. A little ego can grow in you. You may have some problem in your life. You have to control your ego, otherwise you can spoil the relations. Your interest in the occult study will increase. Mars will come in the third house on the 2nd of June in Cancer Zodiac. Mars becomes debilitating in Cancer Zodiac, which can cause a fight in your neighborhood. Mars will aspect your sixth sense, then your enemies will go away from you. Nobody will bother you. You should take care while traveling. You may suffer from minor injuries. Mars will also aspect your 10th house. Changes can come at your workplace. Mars is the lord of your 7th house and Ketchu is sitting here, then the problem can increase in your marriage life. Jupiter will be retrograde on the 20th of June. Changes can come in your job. Your caused, old tasks will be completed. This time will be good for those who study astrology. You can get a job promotion. Saturn is sitting in your ninth house. For jobbers, Saturn will support you. Saturn will aspect your third house, then your relations with your father and with your neighbors may get spoiled. So now let's see about the bad days. You are, or I am, one or two days in a month go, which gives us stress, discomfort, trouble. Pessimists make it, and that is the time when the lord of the mind and the brain enters the negative position. When the moon comes in the sixth, 8th or 12th house, it hurts us. Those who do not have a good lunar birth, they can observe Pradosh on the 7th of June and the 22nd of June. This is the fast of Lord Shiva. 5th, 6th and the 7th of June. 20th and the 21st of June. There will be bad days for you, so you should not take any wrong decision on this day. It is good if you do not fall into the mess of waste. 
Control your speech. Do not say that someone's soul is hurt. Your expenses may increase. Health problems can also come. Now know about Gaj, Keshri Yoga. When Jupiter and Moon are together, or Jupiter and Moon face to face each other, or in four places, then Gaj, Keshri Yoga is formed. Just like now, the Jupiter is here, when the Moon will come here, in Aquarius or it will come here in Taurus, or it will come here in Leo, or it will come here in Scorpio. Then due to Jupiter and Moon, Gaj, Keshri Yoga will be formed. In Gaj, Keshri Yoga, there is a combination of Jupiter and Moon. Jupiter means money and Moon means water. So during this day the flow of money is good. If you do some business, then you can collect payment from someone. During these days, you can get benefit. So this is Gaj, Keshri Yoga. Gaj, Keshri Yoga is being prepared for you in these five days. The 1st of June, the 9th of June, the 16th of June the 22nd of June and the 29th of June. These five days will be beneficial for you. By remembering Lord Ram first, on every Tuesday and read Hanuman Kalisa and distribute its sweets to the children in the temple, it will be beneficial for you. For those whose birth Mars is not good, meaning that Mars is in the 4th, 8th or 12th house in your horoscope, then you can observe Vinayaka Chatyutai on the 14th of June and Sankashti Chatyutai on the 27th of June. If Rahu is bad in your horoscope, meaning in 4th, 8th or 12th house, then you should recite Vishnu Suestra name on every new moon. In flowing water, shedding coconut will also reduce the bad effect of Rahu. In this month, new moon is on the 10th of June. There is a solar eclipse on the 10th of June, which is not visible in India. If you donate on this day, it will be good for you. If you can't donate, Sun Mantra, on Japaku Zoom Sankasham Kashai Payam Wadu Time. To Mori Sava paper name Pranatosmin Devakaram. One should chant this mantra. Chanting Sun Mantra can get rid of all your problems. Chanting the mantra during eclipse quickly proves that mantra. On every new moon, June the 10th, put some black sesame in water and offer it to the peepal tree, will get the benefit too. So this was the June month prediction for Taurus Ascendant. Keep watching our channel for more information. Thank you.